Kenya, and mountain zebras roam the mountainous regions of Namibia and South Africa. Now, what are zebras chowing down on? Well, zebras are herbivores and their diet consists mostly of grass. They can spend up to 60% creatures. Picture the coasts of Australia and New Zealand dotted with penguin colonies, their playful antics a sight to behold. These birds have truly made the world their playground. So next time you think of penguins, remember they're not just Antarctic residents. Despite their bird status, penguins can't fly, but they have other impressive skills. Penguins, in fact, have highly modified wings that over time have evolved into flippers. This unique adaptation doesn't just compensate for their inability to soar in the sky, it makes them master navigators of the underwater realm. Exceptional swimmers and divers, their flippers propel them through the ocean with agility and grace. It's a remarkable sight to behold. Who needs to fly when you can swim and dive like a penguin? Speaking of swimming, did you know penguins are speed demons in the water? These flightless birds are exceptional swimmers, darting through the ocean at speeds of up to 15 to 25 miles per hour. Their flippers, evolved from wings, work like powerful oars, propelling them through the water with incredible force. And their feet? They're not just for waddling on land. Penguins use them to steer, making sharp turns and quick maneuvers. Penguins might just be the speedsters of the sea. When you picture a penguin, which species comes to mind? Imagine this. There are 18 recognized species of penguins, each with their own unique characteristics and habitats. These adorable birds range in size from the towering emperor penguin, standing tall as the largest species, to the petite little blue penguin, the smallest of the bunch. With such a diverse lineup, it's easy to see how penguins have adapted to thrive in a variety of environments. From the emperor penguin to the little blue penguin, there's a whole world of penguin species to discover. Ever wondered why penguins have that classic black and white look? This isn't just a fashion statement, it's a cleverly designed survival tool. The black and white coloration serves as camouflage while they're swimming. From above, their black backs blend in with the dark ocean depths. From below, their white bellies match the bright surface illuminated by sunlight. This countershading technique confuses predators and gives penguins a better chance of staying safe. Penguins' black and white attire is more than just stylish, it's a survival strategy. Penguins are not lone rangers, they're quite the socialites. These charismatic birds are known for their strong social behaviors. They often form large colonies, creating a bustling community where they breed and raise their chicks. These colonies, sometimes numbering in the thousands, turn the icy landscapes into a lively nursery. Some species even exhibit elaborate courtship rituals, adding a touch of romance to their social dynamics. So, whether it's for love or child-rearing, penguins prove that it truly takes a village to raise a chick. Penguins are not just surface swimmers, they can dive deep, too. With some species capable of plunging to depths exceeding 500 meters, these aquatic acrobats are no strangers to the ocean's depths. This remarkable ability is powered by their streamlined bodies, designed for swift and smooth submersion. They've even developed the capability to close their nostrils to prevent water entry, an essential adaptation for their deep-sea expeditions. Penguins' diving abilities are truly a deep-sea marvel. What's on the menu for a penguin, you ask? Well, penguins are seafood connoisseurs of sorts. Their diet mainly consists of fish, but they also enjoy a side of squid and a krill appetizer. These marine birds are equipped with hooked bills, a perfect tool for catching and swallowing their prey whole. This seafood banquet is not just a matter of taste, but a vital part of their survival. The nutrients from their diet help them thrive in the challenging conditions of the Southern Hemisphere. Penguins' seafood diet is a key part of their survival in the wild, did you know penguins are quite the romantics? Many species exhibit a fascinating commitment to their partners, forming monogamous bonds that would put even the most devoted soap opera couples to shame. These adorable birds engage in elaborate courtship displays and vocalizations, all in an effort to strengthen their pair bonds. From synchronized preening to gift giving, their love language is as varied as it is endearing. Penguins show us that love and loyalty can thrive even in the harshest environments. Penguins undergo quite a transformation during their molt process. This annual event sees our feathered friends shed their old plumage, making way for brand new feathers. It's a complete wardrobe overhaul. But there's a catch. While they're in this transition phase, they can't take a dip in the water. Swimming is off limits until their new feathers have fully grown in. 
Imagine having to fast for weeks on end. The molting process is a fascinating part of a penguin's life cycle. Ever wondered why the puma has so many names? This fascinating creature goes by quite a few monikers, each with its own unique tail. The term puma, for instance, is a gift from the Quechua language, a nod to the indigenous peoples of the Andes. Meanwhile, cougar and mountain lion are the names you'll likely hear if you find yourself in North America. And should you stumble upon the term catamount, no, it's just another way to refer to this same intriguing animal. These various names reflect the widespread reverence for this creature across different cultures and regions. From the snowy peaks of Canada to the rugged terrain of the Andes, the puma has left its mark, earning a unique name with each new encounter. So now you know whether you call it a puma, cougar, mountain lion, or catamount, they're all the same majestic creature. Did you know that pumas boast one of the widest geographic ranges among large mammals in the Americas? Indeed, these agile felines have claimed territories spanning from the frosty Yukon in northern Canada all the way down to the southern Andes in South America. This expansive range is a testament to their adaptability and resilience. The puma's habitat varies greatly, from the dense forests and mountainous regions of North America, to the arid deserts of the Southwest, and the lush grasslands and jungles of Central and South America. Pumas are truly versatile creatures, capable of thriving in a variety of environments, this adaptability is key to their survival and is a trait that sets them apart from other large cats. Despite the adversity they face including loss of habitat and conflicts with humans, they continue to hold their ground, showing an impressive determination to survive. From the cold of Canada to the heat of South America, pumas have proven their adaptability. Ever heard a puma scream in the wild? It's an unforgettable experience. Pumas, these majestic and powerful creatures have a language all their own. Their vocalizations are as diverse as they are fascinating, from eerie screams that can send a chill down your spine, to deep resonating growls that signify their prowess, pumas know how to make themselves heard. But it's not all about intimidation. Pumas also have softer sounds in their repertoire. Hisses, purrs, and even chirps are part of their vocal arsenal. These sounds play a crucial role in communication, particularly during mating season. It's during this time that the puma's language becomes even more complex, as males and females engage in a vocal dance, each trying to gauge the other's interest and intent. So next time you're out in the wilderness, keep your ears open, you might just hear the unique language of the pumas. So don't be alarmed if you hear a scream in the wild, it might just be a puma calling out. Imagine a cat that can jump more than 40 feet in a single bound, that's the puma for you. The puma's leaping prowess is nothing short of extraordinary, their powerful hind legs, coiled like springs, are the key to their astounding agility. They can span vast distances or surmount towering obstacles with a single graceful bound. This remarkable ability isn't just for show, it's a vital tool for survival. Whether it's navigating challenging terrain or chasing down elusive prey, the puma's leap can be the difference between life and death. Imagine being in the wild, the wind in your fur, your eyes locked onto a deer in the distance. With a tremendous burst of energy you launch yourself forward, your powerful hind legs propelling you like a furry missile. That deer doesn't stand a chance. So next time you see a puma, remember, this isn't just a big cat, it's a finely tuned jumping machine. With a single leap, a puma can cover a distance that would take us several strides. Pumas are the epitome of solitary living in the wild. These magnificent creatures are territorial by nature, preferring to keep to themselves in large home ranges that they actively patrol. This solitary lifestyle is not just a preference, it's a survival strategy. By claiming and patrolling their territory, pumas ensure that they have exclusive access to food, water and shelter within their range, effectively minimizing competition. Their solitary nature extends to their hunting habits as well. As crepuscular and nocturnal hunters, pumas are most active during the twilight hours and throughout the night. This behavior not only helps them avoid human encounters but also increases their chances of successful hunts. Under the cover of darkness, they stalk their prey, utilizing their excellent night vision and stealth to get as close as possible before launching their powerful attack. The next time you see a puma, remember, it prefers to be alone. It's not being antisocial, just a solitary stalker, living life on its own terms. Puma cubs have one of the longest childhoods in the cat family. They remain with their mothers for about 18 to 24 months, a period teeming with lessons vital for survival in the wild. During this time the mother puma takes on the role of a stern yet caring teacher. 
She teaches the cubs how to stalk prey silently, an art form that requires patience, agility, and precision. The cubs learn to read the language of the wilderness, understanding the subtle signs that could mean the difference between life and death. They learn to navigate the treacherous terrain of their vast territory, mastering the art of leaping and climbing to escape threats or gain a better vantage point. The Mother Puma's teachings are not just about hunting and survival. They also include lessons on marking and defending their territory, crucial skills for these solitary creatures. By the time a Puma cub leaves its mother, it's well equipped to survive in the wild. Despite their wide distribution and adaptability, Pumas face significant conservation challenges. The majesty of these creatures is overshadowed by a harsh reality. Their habitats are shrinking, fragmented by human activity and development. Their once vast territories are becoming islands in a sea of urbanization, limiting their access to prey and mates. Human conflict is another major concern. Pumas, being nocturnal hunters, often find themselves in direct confrontation with humans, especially in areas where their habitats overlap with ours. These encounters often end in tragedy for the puma, seen as a threat rather than a vital part of the ecosystem. Yet, all is not lost. Conservation efforts are underway to protect and restore the puma's habitat, minimize human-animal conflict, and raise awareness about their crucial role in the ecosystem. It's a daunting task but necessary, for these magnificent creatures are more than just predators. They are key players in our planet's biodiversity. Our majestic pumas are under threat, but with concerted efforts, we can ensure their survival for generations to come. Did you know that not all piranhas are meat-eaters? Shocking, isn't it? But that's just the tip of the iceberg. Let's dive into the fascinating world of these misunderstood creatures. Piranhas are a group of omnivorous freshwater fish that belong to the family Caracidae. They're not just a one-size-fits-all type of fish. In fact, there are over 60 different species of piranhas each with their own unique quirks and characteristics. Now, you might be picturing the infamous red-bellied piranha, the poster child for all things piranha-related. And yes, they're as exciting and fearsome as they're often portrayed, but it's like comparing a chihuahua to a Great Dane and calling it a day. The piranha family is much more diverse. Here's a fun fact. Some piranhas, like the paku, are actually herbivores. That's right. They're more into fruits, nuts, and plant material than a juicy steak. This might be a little disappointing for those who enjoy the thrill of the piranha's carnivorous reputation, but it's an important fact to bust the myth. So instead of picturing a piranha in a feeding frenzy, picture it munching on a nut or a piece of fruit. It's like the fish version of a vegetarian at a barbecue, politely nibbling on a veggie skewer while everyone else is chowing down on burgers. But don't let this plant-loving lifestyle fool you. These herbivorous piranhas are not to be underestimated, their teeth are just as sharp and capable as their carnivorous cousins. They need those chompers to break down hard nuts and tough plant material. It's a tough job, but someone's got to do it. So next time you imagine a piranha, don't forget to picture it munching on a nut instead of a chunk of meat. Because as we're starting to see, there's much more to piranhas than meets the eye. And that's just the beginning of the fascinating journey into the world of these misunderstood fish. Piranhas have a wicked set of chompers, but did you know they also have some impressive hunting strategies up their fins? Let's dive into these gnashers first. Piranhas have a formidable dental arrangement, a kind of natural Swiss army knife if you will. Their teeth are sharp, interlocking and serrated, giving them an edge in the biting game, quite literally. It's like Mother Nature said, let's give this fish the ability to shred like a top-tier office paper shredder. And shred they do. These teeth are perfect for tearing into prey making short work of flesh scales and fins alike. What's more, these teeth are continuously replaced throughout their lives, so they're always at their biting best. It's like having a lifetime supply of razor blades that self-replenish. Handy, right? Now let's swim over to their hunting strategies. Contrary to popular belief, piranhas aren't the lone wolves of the aquatic world. In fact, some species are quite the team players. They employ group hunting strategies where they work together to surround and disorient their prey. Picture this a school of piranhas, moving in perfect synchrony, herding their prey like aquatic sheepdogs. It's an impressive display of teamwork and coordination, making it easier for them to catch their bewildered targets. Who knew piranhas were such team players? Also, it's worth mentioning that not all piranhas are exclusively carnivorous. Some species like the paku are herbivores and primarily feed on fruits, nuts, and plant material. This is quite a plot twist, isn't it? 
the feared piranha, snacking on a juicy apple or nibbling on some nuts, it's almost like finding out that the big bad wolf is actually a vegetarian. So, while they have the dental equipment of a horror movie villain, they also have the teamwork skills of a championship sports team. From their remarkable teeth to their surprising hunting tactics, piranhas prove to be more than just the scary fish of legend. They're multifaceted creatures with unique strategies for survival, showing us that there's more to them than meets the eye. Piranhas' lives are more than just hunting and eating, they also travel, jump, and even sometimes, eat each other. Now that may sound a bit harsh, but it's all part of the piranha lifestyle. Let's dive in, shall we? First off, piranhas are quite the travelers. Some species engage in seasonal migrations, moving from one water body to another in search of food or more favorable conditions. This behavior is influenced by changes in water levels and temperature. It's like they're on a constant vacation, searching for the perfect spot to dine and unwind. Now imagine this, a piranha leaping out of the water with the grace of a dolphin. Sounds amusing, right? Well, some piranha species are known for their ability to jump out of the water, particularly when pursuing prey or avoiding predators. This behavior is often observed in response to disturbances in the water. It's like their version of a surprise party, but with more teeth involved. And now for the grand finale, cannibalism. Yes, you heard that right. In times of scarcity or stress, piranhas may resort to cannibalism. Larger and more dominant individuals may prey on smaller or weaker members of their own species. It's their own twisted version of survival of the fittest, or should we say, survival of the hungriest. But don't let these behaviors scare you. Piranhas are complex creatures with a diverse range of behaviors and lifestyles. Their actions are often misunderstood and misrepresented, leading to their fearsome reputation. Remember, they're not always the aggressive, man-eating fish that movies make them out to be. In fact, their behaviors are a testament to their adaptability and resilience in the face of changing environmental conditions. Whether it's migrating in search of food, jumping out of the water to escape predators, or resorting to cannibalism in times of scarcity, piranhas are survivors in every sense of the word. From migrating to jumping to resorting to cannibalism, it seems piranhas really do know how to keep life interesting. Believe it or not, piranhas are not always the aggressive creatures they're made out to be, and some even live to a ripe old age. Now you might be thinking, what, those toothy terrors? But it's true. Their behavior, including their aggression levels, is influenced by a cornucopia of factors. Food availability, environmental conditions, and the presence of potential threats all play a part. For instance, they may show more aggression during the breeding season or when protecting their territory. It's not all about tearing things apart, but what about their longevity? Well, piranhas can live for several years in captivity, with some even reaching a lifespan of over 10 years. Factors such as diet, habitat conditions, and overall health play a significant role in their longevity. So next time you see a piranha, remember it might just be an old-timer in the aquatic world. So piranhas. Not always the villains they're made out to be, and sometimes, they're the grandpas of the fish world. Here's an enthralling fact to start your day. Did you know the term black widow refers to not just one, but numerous species of venomous spiders, all part of the Latrodectus genus? Yes, you heard right. The world of black widow spiders is far more diverse than most people realize. For instance, while the southern black widow or Latrodectus mactans might be the most famous or infamous member of the family, it's far from the only one. There are several other species, each with its own unique characteristics and quirks. Some of them have taken up residence in regions across the globe, from North America to Africa, Europe, and even parts of Asia. It's a testament to the adaptability and survival skills of these remarkable creatures. Each species of black widow, while sharing certain characteristics, possesses its own unique traits, making this genus a fascinating study in diversity. Now, what makes these creatures instantly recognizable? It's the ominous red hourglass marking on their abdomen. This distinctive feature is not just for show, it serves a crucial purpose, a vivid warning sign of the spider's venomous potential. This red hourglass, often found on the underside of their abdomen, screams beware to potential predators, and to us humans too. It's nature's way of saying, watch out, I might be small but I pack a punch. This marking is a testament to the Black Widow's unique survival strategy, leveraging the power of visual cues. While it might seem alarming, this marking helps us identify and steer clear of these venomous creatures. Black Widows have a dark and intriguing secret, they might just consume their mates. This macabre act, known as maternal cannibalism, is a peculiar characteristic of female Black Widows. 
After the intricate dance of mating, the female might turn the tables and turn her partner into a meal. It's an unnerving spectacle of nature indeed, but remember, it's not a universal trait among all species of this venomous arachnid. Some black widow females might spare their partners, leaving them to live another day. Yet why does this happen? Scientists believe it could be a survival tactic. The nutrients from the consumed male might provide the necessary energy for the female to produce and care for her eggs. The world of spiders it seems is fraught with such ruthless but fascinating survival strategies. Though unsettling, this behavior is a testament to the complex and often brutal world of spiders. From venom composition to silk variability, black widows are full of surprises. These spiders are not just about the females, their red hourglass marking and their infamous cannibalistic tendencies. The males, though less dramatic in appearance, also play a crucial role in the world of black widows. They may not sport the characteristic red hourglass, but they make up for it with their stealthy, subdued appearance. Now let's talk about their venom. It's a potent cocktail, primarily composed of neurotoxins that can wreak havoc on the nervous system. A black widow bite, while painful, is rarely fatal. However, it can lead to uncomfortable symptoms such as muscle cramps, fever, and nausea. So, if you're unfortunate enough to be bitten, seeking medical attention is a wise move. Black Widow Silk is another marvel, varying in color from white to light yellow. It's not just pretty to look at though. This silk is renowned for its strength and elasticity, which the spiders cleverly use to construct their intricate webs and durable egg sacs. Speaking of reproduction, female Black Widows have a remarkable ability to store sperm from multiple mating events. This way they can continue to fertilize several batches of eggs without needing to mate again right away. The venom of a Black Widow also contains potent proteins known as latrotoxins. These proteins cause the release of neurotransmitters, leading to the symptoms we associate with a black widow bite. When it comes to hunting, black widows employ a unique technique. Once they've ensnared their prey in their silk, they use more of it to wrap their victim, immobilizing it for a leisurely meal. Lastly, black widows are known for frequently reconstructing their webs. This behavior may be a strategy to ensure the web remains effective for capturing prey and avoiding detection by potential predators. These fascinating creatures with their potent venom and complex behaviors truly are wonders of the natural world. So there you have it, a web of intriguing facts about the black widow spiders. From diverse species and unique traits to complex behaviors like maternal cannibalism and frequent web reconstruction. While they might seem fearsome, black widow spiders are a testament to the intricate and awe-inspiring world of nature. Did you know pigs are one of the most intelligent animals on the planet? These fascinating creatures boast a range of intriguing characteristics, from their complex communication skills, using a symphony of grunts, squeals, and oinks, to their impressive long-term memory. They're social animals with a rich sense of smell, who cool down by mud bathing and eat an omnivorous diet. They're playful, offer piggyback rides to their piglets, have curly tails, and showcase problem-solving abilities that would stump many. Ready to dive into the fascinating world of pigs? Let's get started. Ever heard a pig grunt or squeal? That's their way of communicating. You see, pigs are highly intelligent creatures with a knack for complex communication. They use a repertoire of vocalizations, each with its own distinct meaning. Grunts, squeals, and oinks are all part of their linguistic arsenal. Imagine a choir of grunting pigs, each grunt conveying a different message. It might sound like cacophony to us, but to them, it's a symphony of conversation. Some grunts might be about food, others about danger, and some could even be about comfort and contentment. But it's not just the adults. Even the wee piglets are in on the action. Mother pigs, or sows, have a beautiful way of communicating with their young. They actually sing to their piglets while nursing. Yes, you heard that right, lullabies in pig language. So the next time you hear a pig grunt, remember, they're just trying to tell you something. Think pigs just wallow in the mud all day? Think again. Pigs have an impressive long-term memory. In fact, their cognitive abilities often surprise even the most seasoned animal experts. Studies have shown that these intelligent creatures can remember tasks they've learned for years. That's right, years. Not only that, they're also capable of recognizing other individuals. So, if a pig met you once, chances are, it would remember you the next time you crossed paths. But it doesn't stop there. Pigs are not just memory masters, they're observant learners too. They continuously learn from their environment, helping them adapt and solve problems with ease. 
This unique combination of excellent memory and keen learning ability makes pigs one of the smartest animals on the planet. So, the next time you see a pig, remember, it's not just another farm animal. It's a memory champion, a keen observer, and a problem solver. In the memory department, pigs could give elephants a run for their money. Pigs are more than just farm animals. They form close-knit social groups and have complex hierarchies. These social structures are a vital part of pig life, and they begin to form from a young age. Much like us, pigs are social creatures, craving companionship and interaction. They bond with each other, engage in playful activities, and even groom one another. One of the most intriguing aspects of their social behavior is the formation of a sounder. This term is used to describe a group of pigs living together, usually consisting of a few sows and their offspring. Within these sounders, pigs establish a clear hierarchy, with dominant individuals leading the group. Social behavior in pigs isn't just about hierarchy though, it's also about community and communication. They engage in mutual grooming, a behavior that reinforces social bonds and helps keep them clean. Pigs are truly fascinating creatures. Their social structures are complex, their interactions are engaging, and their community life is vibrant. Pigs might be more social than you thought, huh? Did you know pigs have an exceptional sense of smell and love to wallow in mud to cool down? Yes, these intelligent creatures are known to have a sense of smell that surpasses even that of dogs. They use their potent snouts to explore their surroundings and locate food, often digging up roots or even finding valuable truffles buried underground. When it comes to cooling off, pigs have a unique method. Unlike us humans, pigs don't have sweat glands, which makes regulating body temperature a bit of a challenge, but they've found a solution, wallowing in mud. Not only does this act as a natural sunscreen protecting their skin from the sun, but it also helps keep them cool through evaporation. Now, on to their diet. Pigs are omnivores, which means they eat both plant and animal matter. While they are often associated with a diet of grains, they are opportunistic feeders and can consume a wide variety of foods. From roots and fruits to insects and even small mammals, they're not picky eaters. Beyond their physical characteristics and dietary habits, pigs also have a playful side. They enjoy engaging in various activities, from splashing in water to playing with toys and even interacting with humans. This playful behavior is not just for fun, it's an essential aspect of their cognitive development. And speaking of cognitive abilities, pigs exhibit impressive problem-solving skills. They can navigate mazes, solve complex problems, and some have even demonstrated the ability to use mirrors to recognize themselves, showcasing their cognitive intelligence. But perhaps one of the most endearing characteristics of pigs is their parental care. Mother pigs often give their piglets piggyback rides, letting them ride on their backs while foraging for food. This not only provides protection for the piglets but also fosters a strong bond between mother and offspring. And let's not forget about those curly tails. Many domestic pig breeds sport these spiral appendages. Though contrary to popular belief, the curliness of a pig's tail is not an indicator of happiness. It's simply a genetic trait with breeds like the Gloucestershire Old Spot and Tamworth often having curly tails. From finding truffles to giving piggyback rides, pigs are full of surprises. So, what have we learned about our porcine friends? Well, we've certainly unraveled some intriguing swine secrets today. Pigs are far more than the simple, mud-loving creatures we often imagine them to be. These animals possess a level of intelligence that's truly impressive. With their complex communication skills, they're able to express a wide range of messages through grunts, squeals, and oinks. Even more, they serenade their little ones with lullabies, creating a heartwarming bond that's hard to overlook. Their memory skills are equally remarkable. Pigs can remember tasks for years, recognize individuals, and learn from their environment. This cognitive prowess also extends to problem-solving, where they've shown an intuitive ability to navigate complex situations. On the social front, Pigs form close-knit groups, establish hierarchies, and engage in social behaviors like grooming and playing. These sounders, as they're called, are a testament to their community-oriented nature. We've also noted their extraordinary sense of smell, rivaling even that of dogs. This skill, combined with their opportunistic feeding habits, makes them excellent foragers. Not to forget their playful nature, their adorable piggyback rides and those iconic curly tails. Finally, we can't miss the mud baths. This unique behavior, which helps them cool down, only adds to the charm of these fascinating animals. Next time you see a pig remember there's more to them than meets the eye. They're intelligent, social, and full of surprises. 
Thanks for joining us on this amazing journey into the world of pigs. Did you know that chickens see the world in more vibrant colors than we do? Yes, that's right. Chickens have a technicolor view of the world thanks to their advanced color vision. While we humans have three types of color receptors or cones in our eyes, chickens are endowed with four. This extra cone allows them to perceive ultraviolet light, a part of the spectrum that is invisible to us. So when a chicken looks at a rainbow they're seeing a whole range of colors that we can only dream of. But that's not all. This enhanced color vision also plays a crucial role in their survival. It helps them spot predators that might be hiding in the foliage, and it also aids in finding food. Imagine being able to see the tiny bugs and seeds that blend into the background for us, but stand out in brilliant detail for them. Now let's shift gears a bit and talk about how chickens communicate. You may think of clucking as just a simple sound, but for chickens, it's a complex language. Each cluck, squawk, or purr that a chicken makes can convey a different message. For instance, a certain cluck could signal danger, alerting the rest of the flock to take cover. Another might announce the discovery of a tasty morsel of food. And a contented purr might express, well, contentment. This intricate system of vocalizations allows chickens to share crucial information with each other, strengthening their flock dynamics and ensuring their survival. It's a fascinating example of the complexity of animal communication, and it's happening right in our own backyard coops. So, not only do chickens see the world in a more colorful way, they also have a complex language to communicate with each other. It's a reminder that there's so much more going on in the animal kingdom than we often realize, and that even the humble chicken has a rich and vibrant inner life. Chickens have their unique ways of maintaining cleanliness and celebrating life's little victories, Picture a chicken engaging in what seems to be a dust dance. This is called dust bathing, an essential part of a chicken's grooming routine. They create a depression in the soil, fluff up their feathers, and roll around, luxuriating in the dust. This seemingly odd behavior is actually a clever way to remove parasites and excess oils from their plumage, keeping them clean and healthy. And as they go about their day, hens have a special way of marking their achievement of laying an egg. They sing a unique song, often referred to as the egg song. This vocalization is not just a mere squawk, it's more like a form of self-congratulation, a triumphant announcement that may even attract the attention of other hens to the freshly laid egg. From dust bathing to singing their own unique songs, chickens certainly have their quirks. Chickens aren't just about clucks and feathers. They have surprising cognitive abilities and an enhanced way of perceiving the world. Believe it or not, these feathered friends have demonstrated basic mathematical abilities in various studies. They can comprehend the concept of numbers up to five and even perform simple arithmetic operations like addition and subtraction. Imagine that, a chicken doing math. Now let's move on to their visual prowess. Chickens possess tetrachromatic vision, meaning they can perceive four primary colors. This is one more than we humans can see. This enhanced vision allows chickens to see a broader spectrum of colors, including ultraviolet light. This superpower helps them in identifying predators from afar and finding food in their environment with exceptional precision. So, who'd have thought? With their mathematical skills and tetrachromatic vision, chickens are more perceptive than we might think. Chickens are natural navigators and dreamers, just like us. With an innate ability to use the sun as a compass, they can determine the direction of the sun's movement and adjust their orientation accordingly. It's like having a built-in GPS. But did you know they also dream? Chickens experience REM sleep, which is associated with dreaming in many animals. The rapid eye movement patterns observed in sleeping chickens suggest they experience a level of consciousness during sleep. Whether they're navigating their world or dreaming in their sleep, chickens are full of surprises. Chickens have social dynamics that might surprise you. Within their flocks, they establish a pecking order, literally. Feather pecking is not just a squabble, but a form of social communication, a way of asserting dominance or signaling submission. Now let's talk love. Chickens have mating preferences too. Roosters put on elaborate courtship displays, flaunting their plumage, crowing with gusto, all to attract the hens. And hens? They may choose their rooster based on his plumage color, crowing frequency, or overall health. From social dynamics to mating preferences, chickens lead complex and intriguing lives. Have you ever wondered how the largest creature on Earth, the whale, sleeps without drowning? The answer lies in the intriguing way these majestic creatures have evolved to rest. Unlike us humans, whales are conscious breathers, 
This means they decide when to breathe, a stark contrast to our own automatic subconscious act of breathing. Picture this for a moment, if whales slept like we do, they could potentially drown or become easy prey. To avoid such perilous situations, whales have a fascinating sleep strategy. Instead of fully immersing themselves in the realm of dreams, they rest one side of their brain at a time. The other side remains awake, maintaining essential functions like breathing and staying alert for potential predators. This unique sleep pattern, called unihemispheric slow-wave sleep, allows whales to enjoy a restful slumber in the depths of the ocean without sacrificing their safety. So, whales sleep with one eye open, quite literally. Quite. Did you know whales are the virtuosos of the deep sea? Yes, you heard it right. These magnificent creatures are the maestros of the marine world, using a complex array of sounds to communicate, navigate, and even find a mate. It's a fascinating symphony beneath the waves that we're just beginning to understand. Imagine a world where every conversation is a song, and every song is as unique as a fingerprint. That's the world of whales. Each species has its own distinct language, a unique set of melodies, rhythms, and patterns. It's much like how humans have different languages and dialects. Take the humpback whale, for instance. These creatures are known for their intricate and melodious songs. But did you know a humpback song can last up to 24 hours? That's right, a whole day filled with the sweet serenade of the sea. These songs aren't just long, they're complex and ever-evolving. Each year the humpback song changes, adding new notes and rhythms to their aquatic area. But why do whales sing? Well, there's still much we don't know. But researchers believe these songs serve multiple purposes. Some suggest that these songs are a form of communication, others believe they are a type of echolocation, helping whales to navigate the vast oceans. Perhaps the most intriguing theory is that these songs are a way to attract mates. Just like how a bird flaunts its feathers, a male humpback whale uses its song to woo potential partners. It's a serenade on a grand scale, a symphony of love in the heart of the ocean. The more we learn about these majestic creatures, the more we realize just how intricate and delicate their world is. They are not just the giants of the sea, but the composers and performers of a marine symphony. Their songs echo in the depths, a testament to their intelligence, complexity, and the rich tapestry of life beneath the waves. So whales are not just the giants of the sea, they are its symphony conductors as well. Now, have you ever wondered how long whales live? You might be surprised. Imagine a creature that existed when Napoleon Bonaparte was waging wars, or when Beethoven was composing his symphonies. A creature that has seen the rise and fall of empires, the invention of the light bulb, the first steps of man on the moon, and the advent of the digital age. This creature is the bowhead whale, a marvel of the deep blue, known to live over 200 years, making it one of the longest living mammals on earth. How do we know this? Well, it's a tale as intriguing as the whales themselves. Scientists have found antique hunting weapons from the 1800s still lodged in the bodies of these whales. These artifacts, remnants of whaling expeditions from centuries past, serve as a time capsule, revealing the astonishing lifespan of these magnificent creatures. But how do these whales achieve such longevity? The answer lies in their eyes, specifically, in the eye tissues. Scientists studying the bowhead whales found that their eyes contain unique proteins that protect and repair their DNA, allowing cells to function correctly for an extended period. This remarkable biological feature enables them not only to live longer, but also to maintain robust health throughout their lives. But the bowhead whale's longevity isn't just a biological curiosity, it's also a testament to their resilience. Despite centuries of hunting and environmental changes, these whales continue to thrive, their long lives a testament to their ability to adapt and survive. The bowhead whales are the Methuselahs of the mammalian world, outlasting many species including us humans. They've been around when our ancestors were learning to harness the power of steam, and they'll probably be around when our descendants explore distant galaxies. In the grand pageant of life, bowhead whales are the marathon runners, gracefully gliding through centuries, witnessing the unfolding saga of Earth's history. So, in the race of life, bowhead whales are the marathon runners, outliving even us humans. Finally, let's talk about the size of these majestic creatures. The blue whale, for instance, holds the grand title of the largest creature ever to have lived on Earth. Yes, you heard that right. These giants of the deep outsize even the largest dinosaurs that once ruled the land. It's a mind-boggling fact that truly encapsulates the awe-inspiring scale of nature's design. To give you an idea of just how enormous these creatures are, consider this. 
The heart of a blue whale is so large that it's comparable to a small car. Imagine a heart so immense, pumping thousands of gallons of blood through a body that can stretch up to a hundred feet long. That's about the size of a professional basketball court. But the scale doesn't stop there. The tongue of a blue whale, a muscle we seldom give much thought to, can weigh as much as an elephant. Yes, an elephant. Picture an average-sized adult elephant, now imagine that weight concentrated into the muscular organ that a blue whale uses to taste its food. It's truly a testament to the grandeur of these marine behemoths. And speaking of food, these giants consume an astonishing four tons of tiny shrimp-like animals called krill every single day during feeding season. That's nearly the weight of a hippopotamus. It's an incredible feat that sustains their massive size and energy requirements. So, when we talk about giants, it's essential to remember that blue whales are not just giants in terms of their physical size. They are giants in terms of their capacity to live, to thrive, and to inspire awe. They are the embodiment of nature's limitless potential for scale and grandeur. So when we talk about giants, blue whales are the true titans of our planet. Have you ever wondered what secrets the elusive wildcats hide? These intriguing creatures are known for their solitary nature, often making them difficult to spot in the wild. Their secretive behavior adds to their mystique, setting them apart in the animal kingdom. But don't be fooled by their elusive nature as these felines have a global presence, making homes in diverse regions across the globe. From dense forests and vast grasslands to arid deserts and towering mountainous areas, wildcats have adapted to thrive in a variety of environments, their paw prints are imprinted on the soils of Africa, can be found amidst the snows of Europe, traced in the sands of Asia, and discovered in the wilderness of the Americas. These solitary creatures are not just elusive, they are also cosmopolitan, representing a wide range of habitats. So the solitary wildcats are not just elusive, but they have made home in some of the most diverse regions on Earth. From tiny hunters to large predators, wildcats come in all sizes. Imagine the petite black-footed cat of Africa, hardly weighing more than a bag of sugar between 2 to 5 pounds. Now contrast this with the robust Eurasian lynx, tipping the scales at a hefty 70 pounds. Yet regardless of their size they all share the common grace and agility typical of felines. But their intriguing characteristics don't stop at size. Take a look at their ears. Some wildcat species like the Eurasian lynx and bobcat sport distinctive tufts of hair on the tips. These aren't just a fashion statement, they serve a purpose, aiding in communication and enhancing their keen sense of hearing, a vital tool in their solitary lifestyles. So whether petite or robust, wildcats are a fascinating blend of contrasts and commonalities. Despite their size differences, each wildcat species is unique, and some even wear their uniqueness on their ears. Each wildcat is a master of its hunting grounds. These feline predators have honed their hunting techniques to perfection, each adapting uniquely to their specific environments. Take the fishing cat for example, it's not just comfortable in water but a skilled swimmer catching fish with remarkable agility. Then there's the sand cat, a creature of the desert, hunting nocturnal rodents under the cover of darkness. But it's not just about hunting. Wildcats communicate in a language all their own. The range of their vocalizations is as diverse as the species themselves. From the familiar meows and purrs to the less friendly growls and hisses, each sound serves a specific purpose. They might be marking their territory, signaling danger, or even attracting mates. So, while wildcats are solitary creatures, they're far from silent. Their world is filled with sounds, each one carrying a message, each one a testament to their adaptability. These feline hunters are not just adept at hunting, but they also speak in a language all their own. When the sun goes down, the wildcat's world comes alive. As dusk falls, wildcats rely on their extraordinary night vision to navigate and hunt. Their eyes contain a special reflective layer called the tapetum lucidum, located behind the retina. This feature enhances their ability to see in low-light conditions making them superior hunters under the cover of darkness. But it's not just their impeccable night vision that sets them apart. Wildcats also sport a remarkable array of coat patterns and colors, each adapted to their specific environment. Take for instance the clouded leopard. This wildcat boasts a distinctive coat adorned with large cloud-like spots, providing the perfect camouflage in its forest habitat. Then we have the serval, a medium-sized African wildcat, displaying a striking coat of bold black spots and stripes, blending seamlessly into the tall grasslands they call home. In the cover of darkness, 
their night vision and unique coats make them the rulers of their domains. Not all cats dislike water meet the water-loving ocelot. This wildcat, native to the Americas, has a unique affinity for water. Unlike many of its feline cousins the ocelot is an excellent swimmer and is often observed hunting in and around water bodies. Its fondness for water is so pronounced that it'll even dive under the surface to snatch a meal. But as we delve into the fascinating traits of these wildcats, it's impossible to ignore the conservation concerns they face. Habitat loss, human wildlife conflict and poaching pose significant threats to numerous wildcat species, including our water-loving ocelot. These threats are causing alarming declines in their populations, pushing some species to the brink of extinction. Conservation efforts therefore are not just important, they're essential. From supporting protected areas to advocating for policies that mitigate human-wildlife conflicts, every action counts. As we marvel at these remarkable creatures, it is paramount that we also play our part in ensuring their survival in the wild. Do you know how adaptable bobcats are? These creatures, known scientifically as lynx rufus, can thrive in a variety of environments. They're the true survivors of North America, making their homes in a range of habitats that include dense forests, murky swamps, arid deserts, and even bustling urban areas. They've spread their paw prints across the continent, marking their presence in an impressive display of adaptability. But it's not just the terrain that these resilient felines have conquered. Bobcats are also adept swimmers. Yes, you heard it right. They're not afraid to take a plunge and cross rivers or other bodies of water when necessary. This unusual aquatic ability for a cat species further adds to their adaptability. Whether it's navigating through the concrete jungle or paddling across a river, the bobcat is always ready to adapt to its circumstances. So you see, bobcats are quite the versatile creatures, adapting to wherever they find themselves. Now let's delve into some interesting aspects of bobcats, their territorial marking habits and variable coat colors. Like many animals, bobcats use scent marking as a method of communication. They rub their scent glands on rocks, trees or other objects to establish their territory. This olfactory calling card signals their presence to other bobcats and helps avoid unwelcome encounters. Moving on to their intriguing coat colors, bobcats showcase a variety of shades including brown, gray, and red, with distinctive spots and streaks. What's fascinating is that their coloration isn't a one-size-fits-all. It can vary based on their geographic location. For instance, bobcats residing in arid regions often sport lighter coats as a form of camouflage, blending seamlessly with their surroundings. These nuances in their behavior and appearance are just some of the ways these adaptable creatures navigate their diverse habitats. From scent marking to varied coat colors, bobcats certainly have unique ways of expressing themselves. Ever wondered how bobcats navigate the night? And did you know about their secretive behavior? The bobcat, or lynx rufus, is a crepuscular creature. This means they are most active during the twilight hours of dawn and dusk. It's during these low-light conditions that their excellent night vision comes into play, aiding them in hunting small prey like rabbits and rodents. But that's not all. Bobcats are also incredibly elusive, often going unnoticed, despite their widespread distribution across North America. They are masters at concealing themselves within their surroundings, a testament to their secretive nature. This stealthy behavior, coupled with their impressive adaptability, allows them to thrive in a variety of environments from dense forests and swamps to arid deserts and even bustling urban areas. So, when you're out for a dusk or dawn stroll, remember this. You might not see them, but they can certainly see you. With their excellent night vision and secretive nature, bobcats are masters of stealth. Communication is key in the animal kingdom, and bobcats are no exception. They have a variety of vocalizations and use their tails as a signaling tool. Just like humans use different tones and words to express their feelings, bobcats have a diverse vocal repertoire. Their growls, yowls, and hisses are more than just sounds. They're a complex language that communicates everything from territorial disputes to mating calls. Interestingly, they can even produce a sound that eerily resembles a woman's scream, earning them the nickname, Wildcat. But their communication tactics don't stop at vocalizations. Bobcats also use their tails to signal their intentions. When they feel threatened, bobcats may puff up their fur and arch their back, making their tail appear larger. This is a clear sign to any potential threat that they're ready to defend themselves. The white tip of their tail also aids in signaling, adding another layer to their communication toolkit. From screams that resemble a woman's to tail signaling, bobcats surely know how to get their messages across. Finally, 
Let's explore the Bobcat's diverse diet and their reproduction rate. The Bobcat's dinner menu is quite extensive. These opportunistic predators primarily feast on small mammals, but they don't stop there. Birds, reptiles, and even larger prey like deer are on the table when the opportunity arises. They're not picky eaters, and this adaptability in their diet helps them survive in various habitats. Now let's talk about bobcat families. The reproduction rate of bobcats is directly influenced by the availability of prey. When food is abundant, it's common for bobcats to have multiple litters in a year. However, in regions where resources are scarce, they may reproduce less frequently. It's all about survival, and these cats are experts at it. Whether it's their diverse diet or varying reproduction rates, bobcats are fascinating creatures that continue to adapt and thrive in their environments. Have you ever wondered why zebras have stripes? Or why a zebra crossing is called so? Welcome to our exploration into the intriguing world of zebras. We'll uncover 10 fascinating facts about these black and white wonders. We'll delve into their unique striped patterns, social behavior, vocal communication, and even their dust bathing rituals. We'll also decode the mystery behind zebra crossings, their defense mechanisms, varied species, dietary adaptations, unique ears, and water dependency. Stay tuned to uncover these fascinating facts about zebras. Let's dive into the world of zebras, starting with their striking coat. The black and white stripes that adorn zebras are as unique to each individual as human fingerprints. Yes, no two zebras share the same stripe pattern. This distinctiveness helps zebras recognize one another, a crucial aspect of their societal structure. Speaking of society, zebras are social creatures that usually form small family groups known as harems. A typical harem consists of a dominant male, several females, and their offspring. This structure provides a sense of community and protection for the members of the group. In the wild, this sense of community is invaluable. Zebras rely on each other for survival, and their unique patterns play a significant role in their social interactions. It's a fascinating blend of biology and social behavior, isn't it? As social beings, zebras not only rely on their unique patterns for identification but also communicate in their unique ways. Just like us, zebras have their language and self-care routines. This isn't just a trivial fact, it's a demonstration of the complex and fascinating world of these striped creatures. Zebras communicate with each other using a variety of sounds, from barks and whinnies to snorts. These vocalizations are not just noise, they serve vital roles in coordinating group movements and alerting the herd to potential dangers. It's their way of saying hey follow me or watch out danger ahead, but it's not all about survival. Zebras also know the importance of self-care, in fact they're quite adept at it. They often engage in dust baths, rolling in the dust to maintain their coat health and cleanliness. This behavior helps them get rid of parasites and provides a protective layer against the harsh African sun and pesky insects. So, next time you see a zebra rolling in dust, remember, it's just taking a bath. Now let's look at how zebras have influenced our world and how they protect themselves in theirs. Ever wondered why pedestrian crosswalks are known as zebra crossings? This term was inspired by the striking black and white stripes of a zebra's coat. The high contrast of these stripes helps drivers and pedestrians easily identify these crossings, just like the distinctive stripes help zebras identify each other in the wild. Transitioning from our roads to the African plains, let's explore a unique defense mechanism of zebras, the confusion stripes. When a group of zebras feels threatened by predators, they start moving rapidly. This rapid movement, combined with their distinctive stripes, creates an optical illusion, making it challenging for the predator to single out one individual. This is a clever survival strategy, isn't it? Isn't it fascinating how these black and white creatures have adapted so beautifully to their environment? Lastly, let's delve into the different species of zebras, their diet, and unique adaptations. There are three main species of zebras, the plain zebra, the grevy zebra, and the mountain zebra. Each one is distinct not only in their stripe patterns but also in the regions of Africa they inhabit. The plain zebra, for instance, is found across much of southern and eastern Africa, while the grevy zebra is primarily found in northern Kenya, and mountain zebras roam the mountainous regions of Namibia and South Africa. Now, what are zebras chowing down on? Well, zebras are herbivores and their diet consists mostly of grass. They can spend up to 60% of their day grazing, thanks to their digestive systems that are specially adapted to efficiently process fibrous plant material. This allows them to extract the maximum nutrients from what might seem like a simple meal, but let's not forget their unique ears. Zebras have large, rounded ears that can rotate independently. 
This gives them a kind of 360-degree hearing, enhancing their ability to hear approaching predators, which is crucial for their survival in the wild. And speaking of survival, while zebras can survive for periods without water, they do need to drink regularly. Their bodies are adapted to extract moisture from the vegetation they consume, and they often undertake long migrations in search of water sources. These amazing creatures not only survive but thrive in the harsh African landscapes. So, there you have it. We've journeyed through the world of zebras discovering their unique stripes, social behaviors and communication methods. We've seen their dust bathing, learned about zebra crossings and marveled at their dietary adaptations. From their unique stripes, social structures to their communication and dietary adaptations, zebras are truly fascinating creatures. Keep exploring and you'll find the world full of wonders. Ever wondered how bears can sleep for months without eating or drinking? Or why some bears are excellent swimmers while others are expert climbers? Welcome to a journey into the intriguing world of bears. From the icy terrains of the Arctic to the dense jungles of Asia, these magnificent creatures captivate with their diverse species, surprising habits and remarkable abilities. We'll uncover how they hibernate, explore their varied diets and reveal their unique paw adaptations. Stay tuned and we'll delve into the fascinating world of bears. Did you know there are eight recognized bear species, each with its own unique characteristics and diet preferences? Let's start with the polar bear, a species known for its snow-white fur and dwelling in the Arctic's icy expanses. Unlike their cousins, polar bears primarily feast on seals, using their powerful paws and sharp teeth to hunt. Next up, we have the brown bear, an omnivorous species found across North America, Europe, and Asia. These bears have a smorgasbord of a diet, chowing down on berries, insects, fish, and even other mammals. The American and Asian black bears, though similar in name, have different diets. American black bears are opportunistic eaters with a sweet tooth for honey and berries, while Asian black bears, also known as moon bears, have a more carnivorous bent. Now let's not forget the bamboo-loving giant pandas and the insect-eating sloth bears. And then there are the sun bears and spectacled bears, both known for their love of fruits and honey. So bears are quite the food connoisseurs, aren't they? Bears are not just about strength, they're also about adaptability. This is evident in their physical adaptations, like their powerful paws and claws. These formidable tools serve a range of purposes, from digging for food to climbing trees and even catching prey. The size and structure of these claws can vary among species, reflecting their unique lifestyles and habitats. But the adaptability of bears doesn't stop there. Many species are excellent swimmers, comfortable in both fresh and salt water. The polar bear, for instance, is renowned for its ability to swim long distances in icy waters, using its powerful front limbs to navigate. And let's not forget their remarkable sense of smell. Bears have a highly developed olfactory system, enabling them to pick up scents from great distances. This powerful sense is crucial in locating food sources, especially in the vast wilderness they inhabit. Clearly, bears are well equipped for their diverse habitats. Bears aren't just brawn, they've got brains too. These majestic creatures are considered highly intelligent among the animal kingdom. They display remarkable problem-solving abilities, often demonstrating a keen understanding of their environments. Take the brown bear, for instance. It's been observed using tools, such as rocks and sticks, to catch fish, a testament to their cognitive prowess. But their intelligence isn't limited to just finding food. Bears also exhibit complex social behaviors, particularly when it comes to parenting. Female bears or sows are known for their strong maternal instincts. They fiercely protect their cubs from potential threats, teaching them essential survival skills along the way. Cubs typically stay with their mothers for roughly two and a half years, learning everything from finding food to navigating their vast habitats. As you can see, there's much more to bears than meets the eye. Their intelligence and strong maternal bonds are just two of the many reasons that make these creatures truly fascinating. Bears play a crucial role not just in their ecosystems, but also in our cultures and societies. Sadly, many bear species face grave challenges that threaten their survival. 